each other Love, love, love one another And be kind, be kind to each other again. We are very excited to learn with you today. And first we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to get, get wiggles, wiggles out. out. Let's play a game. It's game time. Today our game is going to give you a little hint of what our big God story is going to be. We're going to play a game called Use Your Legs. Hmm, that's kind of a funny name for a game. I wonder what we're going to learn about. Well, we will find out later, but this game is very fun. What are some ways we can use our legs? Oh, our legs allow us to jump. That's right. So, boys and girls, our first move is going to be jumping. So, stand up, jump until the timer runs out. Ready? Set, go! go! What else can our legs do? <gasps> we can run! You're right! Okay, so boys and girls, let's run. You can run in place like this, or you can run from one side of the room to the other. Let's run until the time it runs out. Ready, Ready set, set, go! go! We still have one last move to do. What else can we do using our legs? Hmm. <gasps> we can kick with our legs. That's right. Hopefully not people because that's not nice. But we can kick in front of us like this. Okay, friends. Can you kick with us until the timer runs out? Ready, set, set go! go! that God gave me strong legs that allows me to do all of those things. Me too. I wonder how this goes with the story this week. Yes, I wonder. Let's find out. That was such a terrific game. It was, but I'm really wondering. They mentioned in it that our legs were the hint to our Bible story this week. I wonder how that works. I don't know, but let's, let's find out. You know who we need to call? Hamilton. All right. So everyone at home, you need to help us call them. Are you guys ready? One, two, three, Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh, I hear him. about the story already, but do you have any more to help us? Yes, he does. I'm just going to take a look. Okay. Oh, he has this toy car for us. Oh. Oh, that's but toy Hamilton, it doesn't work. Oh, no, that's not good. This toy needs... Oh, do we have another hint? Okay. Let's okay. see. Oh, what's that, Hamilton? Batteries. A battery. Oh, you know what? I wonder if we put the batteries in the toy, I think the batteries would give it power. I think so, too. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait, but you know what? And then if it has power, yeah. it would actually work. And we <laughs> that's can play right. It. You know, that sounds like that might be part of our big God story this week. Maybe we're going to learn about God's power. Yes, but before we listen to the story, we need to always remember, where do we find it? It's in our Bible. Bible. Boys and girls, can you stand up with us? as we sing our Bible song this week? 
All right. Now it's time to hear God's word. Hear God's word. Hear God's word. Now it's time to hear God's word. So let's look in the Bible. Okay, let's think about it. Hamilton. Bye, Hamilton. Bye, Hamilton. And now let's hear the story. It's time for the that Jesus died on the cross so that we can live with him forever and ever. But he didn't stay dead. What happened on the third day? He came back to life, and then the Holy Spirit came. That reminds me of a story. Jesus' followers were filled with the Holy Spirit, which means they had the power of God in them. One day, two of Jesus' disciples, Peter and John, were on their way to the temple to worship God. When they came near the temple, they noticed a man laying outside. This man wasn't able to walk because his legs were paralyzed. That just means that his legs weren't able to move. His entire life, he had never been able to walk or even stand up. In those days, people who couldn't use some part of their body, like this man, were treated, on, were treated not kindly. They wouldn't be able to get a job, and they weren't even allowed into the temple to worship God. The man sitting outside the temple probably felt sad and alone. The Bible says that this man would sit outside the temple gates every day on the street, and he would beg for money so that he could buy some food. People would pass him by. Many wouldn't even look at him or talk to him. But God was going to change everything. When Peter and John walked by the man, he asked them for money. Peter and John told him that they didn't have any money. But then Peter said, I will give to you what I have. What do you think Peter was going to give him? Then Peter said, in the name of Jesus, walk. Peter took the man by his hand and helped him stand on his feet. Peter had the Holy Spirit working through him, and he trusted that the Holy Spirit was powerful. God healed a man, and he used his spirit in Peter to do so. The man began to jump and praise God for the first time. Do you remember what clue we got from Hamilton earlier? We got a toy and some batteries. Just like the toy needs batteries to run, we need God's power to help us live our lives the way that God wants us to. God's power is in us. Peter was able to do all God has planned for him, like trusting the Holy Spirit to heal this man's leg because he had the power of the Holy Spirit inside him. Because of this miracle, Peter was able to tell many people about Jesus, and they wanted to listen because they saw God's power working in that man. God changed the life of Peter and John, all of Jesus' disciples, by giving them the Holy Spirit. God also changed the life of the man who couldn't walk. God's power helps us to help others and then tell them about Jesus. God's spirit, it's so powerful and it's working through you. Boys and girls, we have something really special we want to talk about today. We have something that we prepared for each of our boys and girls that have been participating in God's big backyard. That's right. It is actually this box. Uh, What's in the box? Oh, I'll show you. Some of the things that you might see in your box is... Bubbles. Oh, I love bubbles. They're so much fun, especially in the summertime. Yeah. And, you know, something that really reminds me of summer is candy. I love it. I love it. Which one's your favorite? Oh, you know, I do like the Coke bottles. So, see, me, I like the blue whales. Oh, those are good, too. I don't think you can go wrong with candy. I don't think so. And, you know, one more thing that I'm sure is going to be in their box is our balloons. Oh, I love balloons. To play so many games. They're and awesome. you know what, boys and girls, these are coming to you as a thank you for participating. And sometime this week, well, maybe even sooner than you think, they'll be on your doorstep and you'll be able to play with them and have so much fun with your family. Now, if you're thinking, but I haven't participated yet, don't worry, there's still time for you to participate in our future videos and you might get a treat in the summertime. Yeah, so how do you participate? 
right? You just do the craft or the activity and you send it in. You get your mom or your dad to send it in to us and we collect them and sometimes we show these pictures on the video and that's the way that you participate in God's Big Backyard. So now we're going to participate by standing up and let's all worship Jesus together. <laughs>
is a God. Sing with me, a great is a God, and all will see a great, how great is a God. Thanks so much for sending crafts to us this week. We got crafts from Zion, Sirsha, and Kyla. Stella, Mila, Ethan, Eli, Maya, and Anna, Mayowa, Erie, and Innie, and Tamalor. It was so great to send them in to us. We love seeing them every week. Well, let's go see what our craft is this week. In our resources, we have a sheet that looks like this. You can decorate it and cut it out, and then when you're done, take two strips of paper and fold them back and forth, and it should look like that. Just like the man who could not walk leap for joy when God healed him, God was able to heal his leg through Peter. So when you're playing with this craft and remembering that the man can jump for joy, you can remember that God's power is in you. Guess what time it is? <gasps> it's meal time! I oh, love meal time. Me too. Oh, let's look what's in here. <gasps> I bet it's a really good verse. Oh, you're right. It is a very good verse. Okay, I'm going to read it out, okay? okay? For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4. 13. Oh, that one is so good. Yeah. And I came today with some actions. Wow, you are ready. I'm ready. Should we teach our friends? Let's teach our okay. friends. So the verse goes, for I, I. we're going to point to ourselves, can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Wow, that's a good we're action. Show our big muscles for oh. strength. All yes. Right. So should we try it all together? Let's do it all together. Ready, ready boys and girls? One. Two, two, three, three. for well, I, I can, can do, do everything through Christ who gives me strength. strength. Oh, that was so good. And remember Philippians 4.13. 4, we should do that one more time. Okay, okay. ready, set, go. go. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13. Good job, boys and that girls. That was so good. Brooke, it's the end of the episode. It is. We had so much fun today. I hope that all of our friends remember that God has sent the Holy Spirit to give us power. We can always trust God to do amazing things, and he can use us to do it. Have a great week. Bye. Bye. Bye.